the No Faith channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Gadgets, I'm reviewing what I believe to be the best carbon fiber tripod and monopod out there, especially for the price point. If this is your first time to the channel, give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button on this dad's gadget series i just review gadgets that come across my desk to hopefully help you decide if it's going to be right for your needs if it's going to exceed your expectations and if it's worth your hard earned money now this is the newer 75 inch carbon fiber tripod and monopod from newer and i've actually bought in two of these this is the second one the first one i've had i've used it for over a month and i loved it so much and because i have multiple shooting locations for my youtube channel i actually just figured let's just get a second one to save myself the hassle of transporting them back and forth especially for the price tag this actually does a few key features that I specifically needed for my YouTube channel that I'm going to get into, but let's go over some of the bells and whistles. Now, I use my tripod exclusively for shooting YouTube videos, and every once in a while I break it out for the family photos. Let me know, comment below, what you use your tripods for. I know there's some birders out there that want to get those great shots out in the field. There's also a lot of professional photographers, there's cr content creators, and the like, and I'm always curious what you're using your tripod for. Now, one of the reasons I went with this one is that it is super tall, coming in at 75 inches. The reason I did that is because I want to get a lot of shots where the camera's set up high and it shoots down low where I am working out or putting uh, gym equipment together or whatnot. So a lot of the tripods kind of go up to six feet and I wanted to get something that was taller and this is it. I'm going to show you a video of me putting this thing to maximum height so you can see in reference to my height itself how this thing stands how it looks how it lays itself out As far as carbon fiber goes, yeah, it's carbon fiber. They do sell some other models that are aluminum, but I just figured if I'm going to get something that I really enjoy and use all the time, why not go with the best? And I was so happy. Again, I did get this as my second one. Also, the price point. So a lot of tripods, monopods, especially the carbon fiber ones, are extremely expensive, and it's really hard to figure out which ones are actually worth the price, especially if you're not a 100% professional anything. If you're just doing something as a hobby or something that as a, as a side hustle, whatever it may be, you might not want to break the bank, especially when you can get away with kind of saving some money to get something nearly as good as the top of the top. This one it lists at $140, both on Amazon and on the newer website, which for me is a fortune. $140 is crazy. But what Newer does, like a lot of other sellers on Amazon and on their website, is they start at 140 and then they put crazy coupons. So you're thinking you're getting a crazy, crazy deal. Well, I did get a crazy deal. I went to their website and I was able to get this for $68, um, literally under half of what they were charging. And I was so glad I got a second one. I'm going to put all the links to this one in the description so that if at the end of this video you want to pick one up, you can. The other thing that I wanted to do with this, um, this tripod that I thought was an absolute necessity is the fact that you can actually get this to go over. You can get this to go over whatever it is you're shooting. Very often, um, I want to shoot on my desk face down. So I want the camera to be straight down, basically only looking at the hands and some of the things that I'm shooting with. So if I'm doing like um, an example, if I'm doing a, a video on Yeti mugs, I want to be just seeing the tops of the Yeti mugs really close up. And this allows me to, to fix that angle. And it's so tall and so long that I can get over my desk or get over whatever I'm shooting and still get in the photo to shoot the video. Um, so that was that was a, a must have for me. And that's the main reason I picked this up. As far as what weight it can support, I often shoot with very light cameras, but this can support up to 33 pounds for those of you with like DSLs and um, some of those heavier cameras.
Okay, so you can see how this angle will allow you to get over whatever it is, like basically right on top of whatever it is you are shooting. And this can change. You don't have to just have this angle. You can get it higher, you can get it lower, all that good stuff. It really gives you a lot of versatility. Whereas if you just have a normal tripod, you're gonna end up trying to like change up the legs and tilt the, the, the ball head in a way so that you're going to get the shot that you want, kind of, but you're going to try to have to avoid the feet of the actual tripod itself. For those of you who want to get low, you want to get really close to whatever you're filming on the ground, and I mean you want to get super up close and personal, whether it is an insect, a leaf, a small animal, whatever it may be, you can just flip this around. And now you can see how low this can get. And this actually will come out as low as like six inches off the ground, if not even lower, um, with regards to the tripod head. You just put it in, cinch it down, and now you are good to go. Also, one of the key features on getting super low to the ground, especially at some of those strange angles, especially if you're out in nature and you've got like two of these legs on a rock and you've got the other one on grass, you can actually swivel these legs out to whatever position you need and allowing you to create really interesting but level um, situations. One of the things in terms of leveling, it does have two levels. It has one here on the tripod itself and it has one on the top ball head uh, right there. Now another feature that I actually really appreciate is the top on this. Now I don't shoot with big cameras, but I know a lot of people who do. This actually has three different locations where you can set this, this little piece up, allowing you to adjust your camera in, out, forward and back to, as you see fit. Also in terms of cinching your camera down on this top, it allows you to really screw it down nice and tight, um, allowing you to just hand tighten it without wrecking or twisting or turning uh, this top piece at all. And then you've got this nice kind of like grippy fabric on the top, keeping your camera in place and keeping it from moving. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my final thoughts on this newer 75 inch carbon fiber tripod. And frankly, you know I love this thing because I bought a second one. That price point of $68, even $80 cannot be beaten. The bottom, the bottom rubber feet keep this thing locked into the ground and this thing can hold 33 pounds. So even if you've got a big camera, when I set up my camera, even with this thing extended all the way out over my desk, it doesn't want to tip over whatsoever. And the versatility on setting up those low shots is ideal. I don't think this thing could be beaten, especially if you are looking for a really professional tripod that gets you a ton of features without breaking the bank. Now I will say I'll link all of this in the description below. Newer has like a dozen models. They're all slightly different. They've got some in aluminum if you're looking to save some money versus carbon fiber. And they've got some that are shorter. Again, you might not need that 75 inch height but you might want that feature of that lever arm that can raise and lower and hit all those awesome angles if you came this far in the video drop any questions you have down below and i'll get them answered as quickly as i can definitely check for coupons check amazon check newer you should be able to get this thing for like 70 bucks or around or at least under 80 dollars and again at that price point it is a steal of a deal hopefully you found this video informative i only make these videos in order to pass along useful information based on stuff that I've used and used regularly. I wouldn't have bought a second one if I didn't think it was good enough for me. Very happy with my purchase and hopefully this was informative for you. As usual, thanks for watching. Give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. It does support the channel. It helps promote this video. It doesn't cost you a thing. If you are looking to support the channel for free, use the Amazon links in the description. Those are affiliate links. How does it work? They take a little bit of money out of Jeff Bezos, and his ex-wife's pocket and they put it into mine it helps pay for the lights that you can't see because they're behind the camera as usual thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back <laughs>